Yeah. You know you make me want to shout. <laughs> what are you munching on? That looks like Puff Puff. <laughs> Man's got Puff Puff in his mouth. <laughs> I'm not so poor in that. Hold on. You know that, man. Bro, what? You got something in your hair, fam? What's on your hair? Yeah. Is that the park? That's the park, bro. <laughs> when you say things are grass. I thought you know that nobody loves you. Like, they let you walk all this the way home. I'm, saying, yeah. I'm your boy. You know, my daughter done spoke to me, ain't say nothing. Try out the gravity. <laughs> Grounded. So we talking about um about dating sites, right? Dating apps, dating sites, whatever connects yeah. people, man. Right. So I used to think, nah, it's long. Don't make sense. Only one type of people on dating apps. Cousin of mine talked me into giving it a try. So I gave it a try. Um well, you know, I, I think first of all, some of the stuff you've already said came up. Um what you put about yourself will determine who gives you the time of day. So that last girl, she was speaking about when she puts that she's got children, like she gets less matches. So put that. Those people yeah. who don't put you are the people who you don't want to really be involved with. Unless you're not being honest with yourself and you're really into that, but you, but you want to give yourself a, a kind of an ego brush that I'm not like that, but, I, but if that's what you want, then that's what you Facts. do. Facts. So what I, what I found was that um, putting enough about myself and what I'm about, that was a good filter. And at first it was a bit of an ego crush because I was like, bro, like, it's been a long time. Like, why are there no matches? But it was because I was specific about what I was on. I'd say to you, more people on those sites are on for a quick little sign. A quick little, I, I, I want a quick thing. And like, like, I remember I had a conversation with this girl and like we were speaking and like, she must have dropped some innuendos, but I was like, I'm not going to be the guy who falls for that and, and turns this conversation left. She said something like, um, <laughs> this is what she said. She said, oh, I'm just lying on my bed playing with my, with my pussy. I was like, you're not catching me out like that. I was like, oh yeah, I like cats too. Uh, basically, long story short, she got a little... <laughs> but she's drunk, she got next to me. She was like, <laughs> after a while, no, I'm like, listen, I'm not, I'm not going for that. You're not going to catch me. I, I, I see the test. You're like, you're going to say play with your pussy. I'm going to start getting dirty talk and you're going to pull me up. I wasn't going to fall for it. She got, she, bro, she got vexed. She's like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> I'm talking about, do you know what I mean? And, and, and she exited it, exit stage left. So a lot of people, more, I think more time they're on a quick, let me just hook up with somebody. That being said, I, I know people who are like, I met my, I met my husband on Tinder. I met my wife and blah, blah, blah. But let's be real. Those are the exceptions, not the rule. Mm. Most of the stories that your, your friends will tell you or the honest people who speak to you will tell you is that, yeah, it was just this. Like, I, I remember, like, one morning having a conversation with somebody and, like, before lunchtime... <laughs> and, bro, I'm talking about before lunch. Breakfast had not even digested. Everything was on the table, bro. I'm like, bro. Right, like meet me. Da, da, da. Let's link that. Like so, I think people gotta be real. I, again, it just starts off with be real with yourself. What are you looking for? If you're if you're looking for your um, you know your soulmate, your partner, your your husband, your wife for future for for life, you're probably not gonna find them like in that way. Mm. But it's possible. It's the exception, not the rule. Um, but but then again, it, like like you gotta be honest with yourself. There's a lot of people who. Someone <laughs> said Darren, Darren's Darren been drinking. <laughs> yes, Darren has been in the park with Uncle Ray. Today was Uncle Ray and Fruit Punch Day. Oh, it's like Kevin Lisby as well. Lisby yeah, is that Lisby? Yeah. What, what do you say? Is it him saying I've been drinking? Yeah, 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 yeah. He's a, he's a <laughs> Man, like Lizzo. Come right, on. I had to I had to carry on from yesterday. Um, <laughs> But I, know, like, like, I think most people are not honest enough with themselves. And so we've got, like, we speak about sex like it's a filthy, disgusting thing. And most people who speak that, that I'm going to say rhetoric, like, don't really believe it themselves. But, yes. but it's, it's the persona they put on, like, that's not, like, they act like certain stuff. They're performing. Meanwhile, you're in Tinder, doing 
swipe right, swipe right, swipe right, 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 right. You're swiping like that. And it doesn't matter who comes. Be a lustful. Well said, Kojo. Be a lustful. Yeah, I learned that word yesterday. Lustful. <laughs> How did you learn that word yesterday? Listen, let me start my business, yeah? <laughs> lustful. Kojo, I know it's your day off, but don't be lustful. <laughs> right. No, I, 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 you know what? I feel like dating apps take away like the reality. Like, like you know when you go to the Chinese shop, yeah, and you don't know what you want, and you look at the menu, you go, oh, but... like you're there for ages. But when you're in your yard and you have that craving for B six, like when you say, I want sweet and sour sauce with 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 the special fried rice, I don't want the chicken balls, bro. You go in and you say, chicken balls, sweet and sour sauce, and you order and you leave content. But this kind of influx of option, bro, bro, it's not even good for us. When you look at how I the know, brain bro, works. Options is not, bro. Well, I remember, I remember before I started entertainment, yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and if I'm really honest, I miss that. I miss the time when, that. when before I was in entertainment, I would like a girl. And that's the only girl that I cared about. That's the only girl that I was, that was an option to me. That was right. the only girl that I would focused on and I can build with that person. I just love that. You know what I mean? I get to know the family. Life was a lot more simple. And then options came, cuz. And with options, if we're all really honest, yeah. options delays you making a decision. That's See, right. op options, people think like, Oh, I've got an op I've got options. I can go that way, that way. No, it delays yes. you making a decision because yes. you fear going down the wrong path. Because you will spend most of the time saying to yourself, nah, but what if I go down there, but nah, yes. but what if I miss out on this and that, 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 that. Do you understand mm -hmm. what I'm trying to say? And yes. I feel like the simplicity of life is what was best for all of us. But Absolutely. now, the only people that had um, options, let's be real, were people who were filthy rich or, or huge, not 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 influencers, yeah. huge yeah, yeah. celebrities. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Because that was just the lifestyle. Now, the, that lifestyle is, anybody can afford that now. Mm -hmm. Anybody can have options now. And it That's makes right. making a decision so much longer. And then you blink, and then you say to yourself, shit, I'm 50 years old, and, I, and I've, not, I've not got anything to, that I've built. Yeah, do, because, do you know what? Because I've spent my time, most of my life, Trying not to make the the back, the wrong decision. Yeah, yeah. bro. I, I think dating that makes it worse. Like so, for example, serial dating. I I don't think it's, it's I don't think it's healthy because here's what happens: you meet person A, you you start to get to know them, or you attempt to. Bear in mind, if you really clock it, you don't know somebody until like maybe ten years of living with them. Yeah about the relationship and then the marriage and then the journey and you know, all that. But you meet this person, finally get to know them, then you meet that other person. This one's got some things you like, but some things that you don't like. But that one's got other things you like. And now the third one's got, now you're like, hmm, which one? And you can't get to know one because you're not even invested in them. Mm -hmm. You're hedging your bets like, oh, which one looks like the most. So you, you limit yourself to making very superficial de decisions. Yeah. Right? And, and that is in normal life when you actually have to physically go find somebody, meet them, pluck up the courage to speak to them and then get some common ground. But now you go swipe, 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 swipe. Then like 50 people swipe right for you. And now you're try they're trying to have superficial conversations on text. Bearing in mind, when you look at communication and how it works, very little of what you say like by the, the actual words chosen is the communication. You've got the words used, you've got the intonation, you've got the, the body language around it. So you stripped out all of the most important bits of conversation. Now all you have are the words on the screen. You're trying to make a decision. And then you've got like, I don't know, five, 10, 15, 20 people. But, so you, you give yourself an impossible task. Much, I, I, I love the organic stuff. Like you meet somebody, you, you, you meet them in their totality their body language, their everything, and then you get to know them. But realistically for yourself, invest in getting to know one person alone. Forget about what if I make a mistake and I miss that one. Forget that one. Invest in this one. Mm. My opinion. But the dating app thing, bro, like, it's just too artificial. It's, it's nonsense, in, in my opinion. Um, it, worked, it has worked for some people. They're the exception, not the rule. 
Facts. I, I agree with you, my brother. Listen, as always, thanks for coming on, King. And remember, when it comes to your hair, I got your back, blood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that deep respect, King. Yes, brother. Peace. Uh, yes.